Okay, hello everyone, Mark Sergeant again, and uh, this is another troubleshooting video about uh, UV mapping. So, uh, first of all, we have this sofa, and what we want to do is actually uh, we want to repair this UV issue that's happening here. So, let me see that. What is it? Uh, Alt Q to isolate. And as you see, we have uh, some kind of a uh, texture on it, but it's not really appearing in the right uh, places. Now, first of all, we have an order issue. So we have an order issue, we have a hierarchy issue, and there is a symmetry problem. Now, uh, so first of all, the logic is pretty much the opposite. So UV map, unwrap UV, is usually the first thing after the model is completed. Okay, because if you are using a turbo source, if you are using symmetry, that means you are adding on top more and more content, and you have to work more and more in the UV map. Uh, so forget this uh, kind of a, a solution. Just uh, get rid of this uh, unwrap uh, first. Now, uh, the other thing is, uh, as you see, edit table poly is active. So an edge was selected. And while the edge was selected, uh, all of these modifiers were used on top of it. Now this means we have an edge kind of a restriction of the modifier. So even if you are able to edit many, many things, you're still not able to access everything that you really need to. Okay, so just change the layer order and uh, change uh, the the hierarchy and everything like that. Okay, so I will just delete this one. Now the other thing, symmetry has a kind of strange issue because the problem is uh, when you're using symmetry, there is an overlap problem. So why does it happen that you have a symmetrical model and you have kind of an overlapping here because by default symmetry cuts off a model and mirrors the part and belts the part. Now what happens? Slice along mirror is turned off. Belt seam is on, but if you have no slice along mirror enabled, it's pretty hard to weld anything. Now uh, the issue is nothing special, just the flipping was not turned on. So we need to get a flip and here is the actual result of a good symmetry. So we have a symmetrical model that's cut in half and welded at uh, the connection points. Okay, but it's still not good. We don't need it. Now the other thing, of course, turbo smooth is the last thing we want to add on top of everything. So of course we will just get rid of it. Now here it was the original problem. Editable poly was in edge mode, and while uh, it was in edge mode, then the modifiers were added. So when you are, uh, when you have a base model that's finished, you have to leave sub-object mode, click on Edit Poly, and then start using uh, the other options. Now here, what what I do need is a uh, unwrap UV, and uh, and polygons. So I will use a seam, and uh, a seam from here to this direction, and yeah, up here. Okay. Now seams are ready. I don't need any more. Polygons are selected. Because back facing is turned on, uh, I have to turn it off. Now I can select everything, front and back polygons. Okay, so once it is selected, I can open up pelt map, start pelting. Now it's nice and done. If you want to check, here's the view. Okay, so it is there start relaxing it's fine and I'm absolutely satisfied with this one so I will just start rotating it now this is just one half of the sofa so what I have to do I have to prepare it uh, for the future welding uh, with the mirrored part now to do that I will select the points these points align them into one horizontal line so here's the icon align vertically and I will also align this just for just to keep it fancy and uh, select the points again and look for the relax again now here we have a different option for relax that's called keep bounder points fixed so I will check t 
tactic on that start relaxing now the bon boundary points will keep uh, their alignment so this is a perfect way to create a nice and straight patch of UVs of course we can resize it uh, not a super important part but we can and voila here we go this is the unwrap part for the first section so here we go now ideally you just right click and convert it into an edit table poly and this way you're melting down everything so right now uh, the UV uh, information is baked into the edit table poly model so here's the next part we're adding on symmetry and yeah symmetry the mirror part is just moved away flip yeah it was somewhere here I'm not 100% sure but it will be nice okay again editable poly that's super fine just let me check if if it works fine or not here we have a small gap here we have a small gap I think it's it will be fine or Q isolation back again right click convert it into an editable poly on rep UV because now we have two parts and we want to make sure that these are not just simply mirrored we want to make sure these are able to receive some custom paint if we want to so opening up UV editor and even if it looks like you have only one patch it's actually two now to easily select this you can turn on uh, element selection toggle and move this one away now this one turns to turns out that this is actually the right side so I will just check it move it to the side and uh, we need UV checker because usually when you're using symmetry or any kind of a mirror it flips the UV coordinates as well so we have the doubled UV parts but uh, this one is still mirrored now here at the top I walk up here and make a mirror and as you see all lines aligned everything now these are still two different parts so we want to weld them together but this one is this background is a little bit noisy around here so I will turn this off turn off the element select because I want to select only portions like uh, these points and weld selection sub object these are not close enough so I will move them closer okay like this way and select them too and weld okay threshold could be adjusted but by the way just let me adjust the threshold well okay super fine now it's welded so I'll select back everything again ha uh, here we go with the relax so we don't need this bounded points fixed right now because we want to get rid of this um, arc so start relax nice 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 looks like a loaf of bread and of course I need to pack it down to fit in the size now this is a time if you want to export it you can uh, go with tools render UV template or just close it up and uh, you can even convert it into an editable poly and add on turbo smooth or if you want to add uh, subdivision displacement for example or, or any kind of subdivision you can use norm subdivision so it's a kind of a built-in uh, subdivision modifier uh, that comes with the uh, edit table poly and I need a text uh, test texture to make it fit so I will just select this one remove it but only from the editor slot and um, so why not I will use a physical material and drag and drop it that will be uh, kind of a matte paint and instead of this crazy color I will use a uh, maps brown letter okay that's it make it visible and of course we need to adjust the tiling but the it will be distortion free okay so as you see we have this nice floating cool looking leather that's not stretched that fits nicely with the part and if additional things needed of course uh, it can be done in 3d painting so that's it and thank you for watching hope it helps
See you next time. Goodbye.